So in this module, you'll be using the elevated plus maze. And the elevated plus maze is just a different type of test to look for anxiety-like behaviors in rodents. And uh, the most common behavior uh, measured in this test is the time spent on the open arms. And that uh, equates to the more time an animal spends on the open arms, the less anxiety-like it is uh, assumed to be. Now, there are several different other behaviors that you can um, measure. Uh, grooming, defecating, urination, uh, rearing, um, let me see, uh, freezing behavior, and, and, and uh, you know, the distance traveled in the elevated plus maze. But because this is the last behavior that you're going to collect data on and analyze, I'm going to keep it very simple this time and we'll just do the time spent on the open arms. So you'll see whether uh, anxiety measured on this uh, elevated plus maze is correlated with the mice either being compulsive-like or non-compulsive-like. Now the, so not only is this a new behavior that you're gonna uh, collect data on, but also it is only with the HA1 and HA3 compulsive-like mice. So we're looking for a long-term effect of fluvoxamine. These uh, HA1 and HA3 mice were injected with fluvoxamine at different doses, zero milligram per kilogram, 10, 20, and 30 milligram per kilogram doses. And they were injected subcutaneously on their flanks. And what you will see in the videos is that some of these animals will have some scabs on their skin as a result of some irritation from the daily injections. So just to be aware of that, they were under careful veterinary care and they didn't have any uh, unnecessary pain and distress. We treated those scabs with uh, appropriate ointments and things like that, but just so you know. Now in um, addition, uh, now I've just lost my train of thought. Um, yes, so you will only look at the compulsive like mice and also look at the long-term effects of fluvoxamine. Um, and so the animals were injected for 18 days. They were, um, after two weeks, uh, 14 to 16 days, they were tested for nest building behavior, marble bearing behavior, and open field behavior. And I will provide you with that data um, uh, in the analysis module, in module 15. So you can put the, uh, the data that you are collecting in context. And then you will be measuring uh, elevated plus maze about eight or six to 30 hours after the last injection of fluvoxamine to look at long-term effects of this drug. So I have no clue what you're gonna find in this, uh, in this test. So I'm looking forward to it, and um, I hope you have fun collecting data from this new behavior.